In music resides the power to move people. Moved people have the power to affect change. The music you are about to hear is sung with the hopes of affecting such change. In March 2013, an emergency manager appointed by Michigan Governor Rick Snyder made the decision to switch the water source of Flint, Michigan from a supply in Detroit to the highly corrosive water of the Flint River as a cost-saving measure. Although the city's operating plan proposed corrosion control to treat the water from Flint River, Department of Environmental Quality officials told the city it was not necessary. Following the switch in April 2014, there were immediate concerns from the Flint residents about the taste and color of the city's new water. Unbeknownst to residents, the highly corrosive river water was tearing through the pipes, leaching harmful chemicals and lead into the water supply. In October 2014, the General Motors plant in Flint deemed the water too corrosive for their manufacturing usage and made the decision to switch to a different water source. Meanwhile, this water that was unsuitable for auto manufacturing was still flowing freely from the faucets of Flint citizens' homes. The governor's attorneys recommended switching back to Detroit's water authority, and a state report linked Flint's water to a deadly outbreak of Legionnaires' disease. But nothing was done. In January of 2015, the city announced that Flint's water was in violation of the Safe Drinking Water Act. Officials said residents with normal immune systems had nothing to worry about. In February 2015, a manager at the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency told Michigan officials that because of the chemistry of the river water, contaminants from pipes, including lead, were being leached into the water system. The state worked to discredit him, stating publicly there was no lead problem. In August 2015, Virginia Tech professor Mac Edwards' test revealed high lead levels in Flint's water. The state rejected his findings and again nothing was done. In September 2015, Michigan State University, Professor Dr. Mona Hanna Atisha held a pre press conference announcing elevated lead levels in children in Flint that could result in developmental delays, learning problems, and slow growth, and still nothing was done. On October 2nd of 2015, almost one year after the water source was switched, state officials finally admitted that Flint's water had been poisoned. Schools, businesses, and residents of Flint were told not to drink the water they had been drinking for more than a year, with no additional timeline or solution presented. In January 2016, the crisis expanded with another spike in Legionnaire's disease and 10 related deaths. In March 2016, Governor Snyder hired a prominent criminal defense lawyer at the fee of $540 per hour. Taxpayers are footing the bill for his legal tab of over $3 million, and still not a single pipe has been replaced by this. The nightmare that began for Flint residents in April of 2014, we hope is ended soon. We seek to honor the lives lost and the members of a community who have been largely ignored and left to clean up a problem they didn't create. We sing for the thousands of children and families impacted for life by the effects of lead poisoning. Water donations have been slowing, media attention has been waning, yet thousands of Flint families are still reliant on bottled water for cooking, cleaning, drinking, and bathing. The spoken phrases you will hear within this piece are the actual words of impacted students from Flint area schools. We sing this song for Flint in hopes that together something can be done.
My siblings and I were all tested for lead poisoning. A week passes and my mom finds out that all four of her kids have lead poisoning, including the baby. My mom and dad were angry. I didn't want to believe it was true. We all had to get tested. There is no cure for lead poisoning. place right now. We have to do everything with bottles and jugs of water. I constantly fear running out of water. They get it and the questions that they ask and the conversations that we have these are remarkable remarkable human beings up here parents they have been respectful teachers they have known their music so well and we've been able to do a lot of incredibly wonderful musical things and have a great time doing it music is so important the safe place to go to is is without words parents I thank you friends family members for supporting the students and being in these choirs, but especially something as this. This is a huge, big deal. Can we please congratulate these students for making it into the Allstate Elementary Chorus? <laughs> 